Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a one-off figure I happened to pick up along the way. He's a repaint of uh, Legends Jazz from the tra first Transformers movie line. Um, he name of the figure is Run Amuck, and the paint scheme, as you'll see, is based on the original G1 figure. He was part of, I think, a Kmart exclusive uh, set. I didn't get any packaging with him. It's just that uh, I saw the figure, liked the way it looked, and just went on eBay and was able to get him loose. So um, that's actually going to cut this intro short since I don't have any packaging to go over with you. Let's take a look at the figure. And here is Runabout. Like I said in the intro, um, his paint scheme is heavily influenced by the original G1 toy. But I notice um, he takes some cues uh, from other figures. Namely, um, Breakdown, animated Breakdown from uh, the Stunticons. I know that sounds weird, but um, some of the coloring is there, especially if you notice that red in the hood. Um, well, he is a car. He does roll, and uh, that's about it. I should mention, this tail fin is removable. And I know this because when I was looking on eBay, there were different listings for figures with the tail fin and without. Transformation is a... Uh, very simple. Well, it is a Legends class figure. Just going to come in and uh, pull out his arms, or the sides of the car, which will be his arms. Next, we're just going to, through the magic of uh, editing, going to move the camera a little. Okay, do you like that little edit? Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, fold down the front of the car, like so, basically revealing his head. Then there was this little flap that was on the roof of the car. We're going to fold down, and this will make his uh, fake chest. Split the legs, even though they're not really that pegged together. Rotate them open so the windshield is facing out to the side. And then come in here flip down the feet. And there, you can see, we have Legends Class Run Amok. Um, If you weren't familiar with the original Jazz Mold, uh, really wouldn't be able to see the jazz in him. In fact, let's come in and take a look at some of the closer details. Okay. Right off the bat, you can see his head is just a swash of blue and red paint without any real detail. Um, I do notice some molding in there, but it's very hard to pick out. And I mean, it's hard to pick out even if you have this figure in hand. There is some uh, yellow paint where I guess this would be the front headlights would be. I do like how they worked in a fake front of a car just to be his chest it's you know these little touches in the, the legends line when this line was first introduced with cybertron it was okay but it improved by leaps and bounds as time went on to where we are today so it's interesting to take a look back at this figure uh, decepticon emblem on his crotch and some blue highlights on the inside of the leg uh, articulation is very limited Arms can go up and down. Can't even go fully out to the side due to the uh, paneling on the legs. Legs are on a ball joint, forward, back. No knee, but there is some rotation. All in all, this is a fun little desk toy. But for those of you who are like into super articulation, um, not a figure you're going to be overly in love with. As I mentioned... Legends Run Amok is a fun little toy. While I can't recommend him over some of the more recent Legion and Legends class figures, 
if you happen to see him on eBay or another version of this mold like Jazz or one of the repaints of Jazz, feel free to pick him up. Um, I would only spend about a couple bucks, maybe with shipping. So, um, it's your old pal Chuck for Runamuck. I'll catch you next time.